In the world of powerful AI tools, we're going to go through Pop AI today. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. It's absolutely awesome. So let's get into it. So Pop AI has too many features to cover in one video, but we're going to cover their highlights. On the left hand side, you can see your menu and this user interface is nice and neat and clean. I love it. The first thing we're going to check out is just a simple chat. Now you can see over here it says new chat and on your home page or your dashboard they have this prompt bar over here where you can send a message or you can add a prompt. You can also add files directly here. You can also add images and then you can use uh, this to see your most frequent prompts which is fantastic. And then you can see over here with this uh, drop down menu the different uh, models that you can use to chat with. So I'm going to just upload an image, a random image, and uh, let's just go in here and let's just upload this image. Now it'll take a few seconds to upload and basically you can have the AI interact with this image. So you can say what is in this image and you will get a response. Now, of course, the responses may vary. You may get a long response, you may get a short response, but in essence here you can get images, uh, responses from images. So you can see over here, this is a fantastic response. You can also continue your chat, but that's great. For now, we're going to go to the chat PDF, which is fantastic. You can go and upload a PDF file right over here. And I'm going to just go ahead in here and I'm going to upload this one. Let's jump in here. It's got a limit of 50 pages on the free plan, which we'll have a look at the pricing later on. But if you're uploading a document that's more than 50 pages, you need to upgrade to one of the paid plans. Now, here it is. It's the Nikon manual. Um, it's for the D3300. It's their user manual. And here you can see immediately uh, it starts giving a breakdown of your PDF. So it's starting to give you a summary. It's absolutely fantastic. One of the other features that it does is, you know, once it's done on the side over here, it takes all the images that is in your PDF and it lays it out on the left hand side over here. So as you can see, here's all the images. It's still extracting here. It's a little bit busy. So it's busy extracting all the information that it could possibly extract. You can see over here, it shows you what page you're on. And over here, you can uh, zoom in or out so you can see more than one page or if you want to zoom into the page. And then on the right hand side, while it's doing this, it gives you some suggested questions. And then you can go ahead and you can start chatting about this PDF. So you can start asking, um, highlight all the benefits of this camera you can also see here you've got this option where you can choose your file type so if it's just a general file or if it's a paper or a resume you can go ahead and actually choose what type of file it is you can also just click on this quick summary over here um, you can see that there's a few options and then it also has a presentation mode which you can use in here from this PDF document, which is absolutely fantastic. You can go create a presentation for sharing research findings, whatever it is over here. And then of course you can customize these commands and just add them in. You can also um, clip. So you can literally clip a piece. Let's just click on this here. You can clip a piece over here. So let's clip this name. Okay, and you can get some insights. You can extract data and you can chat about it. Let's chat about it. Let's. Uh, where was this company founded? All right, so now it's uploaded and let's send it off. So again, additional information. It's fantastic. I know it's a very simple example, but there's so much you can do with a tool like this. It's got so many options. You can also see over here, it's got an output language. That's also fantastic because if you're working in multiple languages, you know, you can work on uh, Pop AI quickly and easily. The AI presentation, which I, I mentioned earlier on, whereas you can create a presentation completely. So you can create a blank one or you can use one of these templates. So if you go into one of them, you can see you have a standard. It's got 15 pages by standard. You need to upgrade to use more pages. You can also choose the word count. Um, you can also choose the audience, the form of slides and then the image source. So these are both pro 
features but you can add image search in there as well and then you can literally just name your presentation and uh, let's just say uh, camera presentation we're going to just hit go so what it's basically going to do is take your command that you've entered in over here which is camera presentation and it's going to create a presentation for you now of course the more information you give it the better your presentation is going to be the easier it's going to be to create this really is such a fantastic tool because the capabilities are endless you can really do so much with it